and you'll notice the carvings on the outside. It's a very welcoming home, even though um, it's very special. It doesn't have, I don't feel, maybe at the end of our tour you'll tell me, a very pretentious feel. It's a very comfortable home that is not fragile either. You can shut a front door, you can walk on the floors, you can stomp your feet, and you're in for a good time. This is the master bedroom of unit 211, and as I said, this is, was the chapel at one time. You can see the pillars are still all intact, the groin vault ceilings, and even the cherubs are on the corbels up there. How do you like that? People who don't know, uh, Tony Grunsfeld was for many years uh, the architect of choice among the North Shore elite. Was he not? Yes, he was, and he still is in business. He has a fabulous website. He's still doing fabulous properties, and these people actually used them. He did an addition on their previous house, also in Winnetka, and when this house came on the market, they bought it before it actually even came on the market. Tell me why you picked uh, Amberly Woods and what else you looked at. Well, we really looked all around, both in the uh, Lake Forest area and the North Shore, and we looked down uh, by where Victoria lives in the uh, western suburbs, too. And um, Amberly pretty much just offered all the things that we wanted. We wanted something new construction um, where we were able to pick out our selections. And um, also, we just love the location, being able to have you know a nice view like you can see here. And, um, I don't know, it just really suited what we needed. The assessments are fairly high to begin with, and then when you add heat and air, although it's a desirable building, well located, well positioned with balconies, uh, it still can be a relatively expensive building to live in. Uh, it too has a swimming pool. Uh, moving north, um, the, the, the hole in the ground at 2520 uh, Lincoln Park West. Uh, now that's a project that started, I think, over five years ago. I think it's going to be a very good building. I mean, um, and then when you look at the luxury buildings, if you look at uh, some other LR projects like 840 Lakeshore, 270 Pearson, 250 Pearson, there's good demand in those buildings. Even, you know, in some of the buildings that are not quite as well done, like, um, but still excellent uh, options. 55 Erie, the Pinnacle, the Fordham. I mean that. Those units are selling. They're selling at a discount over what they would have in 2006 at the peak of the market. Mm -hmm. But the demand is there because the amenities are there. 